In this access lesson, I want to talk about how to build a drop-down menu for any field. We have this table here um, called students, and we've got all this information for the students. And, you know, in this local high school, there are really only a handful of cities where the student can come from. And rather than have the data entry person have to type the entire name of the city, I want to produce a drop-down list. So I would go back to design view here, or yeah, we're going to go back to design view. And city here. From here, I could go to lookup wizard. Now, there are two ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the way that I don't like first, and then I'm going to show you the way that I really like. There are two ways. One is, I will type the values that I want. And I can hit next. And from here, I'd simply be able to type the values that I want in this drop-down list and it would produce a drop-down list for this. The problem is, if I ever wanted to add or delete something from this, I would have to start over. That's the reason why I don't like this option. So I'm going to hit Cancel here. And instead, I'm going to build a brand new table. So I'm going to close this table. I'm going to build a table specifically designed to be a drop-down list. So I'm going to hit No here. And I want to create a brand new table inside of this database. So I simply want a new table, and uh, right away I'm going to go to Design View, or maybe before I do that, I'm just going to, can I just kill that? No? No. So I'm going to go to Design View, and I'm going to call it City. And from here, I do not want a primary key field. And I don't even want an ID field. So I'm just going to delete these. And here, the field name here is just, once again, I want it to be city. And it'll just be a simple text file. Perfect. Done. Well, partly done. And now here, I will actually type the names of my city. So the main city being Welland. And then there might be Pelham. There might be Font Hill. Not that I personally know the difference, but uh, there might be Port Colburn. There might be Niagara Falls, I guess. Uh, I think we have some Fort Erie. We have some Wayne Fleet. And you know, this is part of the reason why I like this option is I might be forgetting a city and I want to be able to come back to this table and add a city if I did forget one. So for now, I'm just going to say, this is good. I'm good. So now I'm done. Okay, so I've got, I've created that table. I've done that part. So now when I go back to students, again, I want this to be a drop down list. So I'm going to go to design view. And from city, I'm going to link this field to that table. So I'm going to go to lookup wizard. And yes, I do want the lookup field to get values from another table. So I'm going to hit next. And the table is city, absolutely. And there's only one field that I want, and that's the city field. And do you want this sorted? Sure. Why not? Let's sort these in alphabetical order. There we go. And for some strange reason, it asks you if you still want. So, oh, here's a preview. Fawn Hill, Fort Erie. That is beautiful. That's exactly what I want. And do you want it to be called City? Yes, I do. And here they're asking if you want to save the table so that the relationship can be created. Because there is a relationship now. Student table is related to city in the sense that the city field is a drop down that relates back to the city table. And I would hit, yes, I do. And now when I go into data sheet view, when the person doing data entry gets to city, they no longer have to type. They simply pick from a list. And there we go. You've just created your own drop down list, which people can use when doing data entry in your table Huge time saver, very nice.